welcome to another episode of Video Game Jerks. We're playing, uh, I don't know, kind of a rare indie hit of the 90s. Not many people know this game. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty underground. Yeah. We had to fight some... Oh shit, it's pirates. Banjo! Oh shit! Uh, the first one. Banjo-Kazooie. We'll probably do the second one too, eventually. Ward has not... Played. I've never made it past Spiral Mountain. The f yeah, so he's barely played it. So he'll be doing most of the play through on this. I've played it a lot. This is the, oh, also the Xbox remake. You know, so it's high definition. It's Microsoft, dude. You know it's gotta be good. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> it's just like, just like when I play an EA game, I started with just the highest of hopes. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, yeah for, for those... For those of you who've been living under a rock your entire lives, uh, this game originally came out on the Nintendo 64. I don't know if you could tell by the amazing <laughs> graphics. This is the HD remix. Yeah, totally. Which Why? is nice. I prefer this controller over the 64 controller. Yeah, uh, that's something. That's something I like when you're playing like a game like this. Is like you don't have those same controls, so it's, it feels awkward and clunky. Now, granted, I didn't spend a lot of time with this game on the original controls, but... Yeah. I've already beat it on the Xbox One, so we're gonna start... Well, you know what? No, I did... I think I beat it. Because there's a part at the end, it's like a game show, and that is a bitch. Oh, yeah? Because you can't, like, cheat your... You can't look online, because <laughs> it's, it's timed. Yep. Um, so we'll probably have to skip a lot on that one, unless we both happen to pay attention yeah. enough to know. Because they ask some, some hard questions, but... I love Rare games and like how everything in a Rare... It's like a, it's like old Disney. Everything has a face. Everything has a personality. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Like broomsticks. Like, I don't know, like, the, the evil mountain is right there. Yeah. It's like they live in Mordor. <laughs> Oh god, Mr. Rossetti, I did not reset, <laughs> I promise. You can get, on Animal Crossing New Leaf, you can pay for him to go have Rossetti back in your town. It's, oh, you never play Animal Crossing New Leaf. You're, you become the mayor. Yeah. And you have to pay for all this shit that goes in there, like a street lamp, a fountain, blah blah blah. But one of them is Rossetti's little underground thing, mm -hmm. but you can't do anything with it. It's just pointless, I think. Could be wrong. So why does Kazooie live in his backpack? I mean, what's question. going on there? No, hold on. I, I did, while well, I was looking up to draw the picture for this, Right. I was looking up, you know, like, pictures of Banjo and Kazooie for reference, and it seems like Kazooie might be female. It is, she is. Oh, okay. Yep. I was just hoping I wasn't looking at some really, really, really bad deviant art <laughs> fan art. No. is indeed. I was taking know. some liberties. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, it's like. This is like Mario syndrome. You know, like Mario and Pokemon. You know, like. Like, oh, I'm your best friend ever. Shove you in this fucking bag! <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> Mario, like, like, Yoshi, you and I are best friends, don't wear this fucking saddle, I'm gonna ride you. Did you see Yoshi's full name? Yeah, it was like T. Yoshisaurus Munchakupas. Yeah, that's like that. fun. Yeah, that's awesome. I had no idea. Oh, There's trouble! I didn't realize this had such a long intro. Yeah. Right, we'll just extend this to 15 uh, That works. Oh, hey, Banjo's awake, that's great. I'm trying to figure out the controls here. Well, like, you go along and, like, as you go around, like, there's that Bottles or whatever the fuck his name is. Ah. Uh, He'll tell you. Mr. This part always. Mr. Is. Not, not Mr. Rossetti. No. It's his cousin. His douchebag cousin. Yeah, He's just... not mean at all. He's kind of a pushover. Yeah. Oh. Fuck. I don't want to spoil it, but in the second game, he's in it. And it's kind of dark. <laughs> oh, yeah. You meet his family. Oh, shit. So you go in, like, the underground tunnels and shit, and he's dead. 
He is? Yes. <laughs> Shit. That's right away at the beginning. But you see his, like, he talked to his ghost a lot, I guess. Oh. But, like, his family's like, where's dad at? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know this mountain that's been, like, right outside your house, like, forever? Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have to... It's not good? <laughs> I hate... No, just don't. I'll, I'll be your... You'll be my... You'll be my bottles? I'll be your coach, yeah. I mean, I, I guess I could... So, A, obviously, jump. X, I think, is the... X is roll. Yeah, I just... For the sake of the gameplay footage, I don't really go through the tutorial. You got a little Mario 64 action there with the... Mm -hmm. I always preferred this over 64. I didn't really play Mario 64 too much, actually. I never owned it. Oh, there's a giant freaking carrot. I'm gonna roll him. Ooh. Got myself a honeycomb. Ah, oh, hey, I like this camera, though. Okay, yeah, you want to get that over there. I think it gives you, if you collect eight of them or some shit, you get an extra life thing. No, you might want, I think it's a do- Oh yeah, back jump. Gotcha. Yeah. Got it. Six. Everyone talks. Dude, the- the soundtrack, this sticks with you. I can, I still remember the soundtrack. Oh yeah, I know, like this Rare is... games were dope with soundtrack. Conquer. Yeah, no, I love these old games like this and like their soundtracks. Like nowadays it's just like, uh, throw some dub step on that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all forgettable. Oh, go get that trophy. Oh yeah. I don't know what it does, forget. Oh. I fucked up. I don't care. I don't, I don't know what it does. <laughs> it might just give you an extra life, maybe. Oh, I got underwater honeycombs. But, yeah, this game was... You know, I had this game... How old was I? I must have been around 10 years old. I don't know what year it came out. So, See, I never... But, like, my friends would give me so much shit. Like, I, so I... I my friend always had a huge sleepover on his birthday with all our friends, and they're all sports. And I was, you know, I played soccer with them too. And we always would bring over one of our favorite games, and I brought Banjo Kazooie. And, and everyone shit on me. <laughs> Why? They were like, this is so kiddy, this is stupid. They're like, they just made fun of it the whole time. Because there's this one part where there's a big metal shark thing level, and it scared the shit out of me. And I, that's why I brought it over to my friends, because I could play it by myself. Oh, and shit. they just were like, this is the gayest thing I've ever seen. And I don't mean to use the gay words, whatever, that's what they said at the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that uh, was... And uh, I was like, you guys are ruining my So what do I do? <laughs> what do I do with were... fucking rocks Oh, here? um, so if you jump up and like hit, is it X? Oh, dude. I think? Nope, maybe you have to ground pound him. How do I ground ground? So you gotta get on top and then... Is it left trigger? Mm, that's is it B? Shit. Well, go to the molehill. He'll, he'll still tell you. Ah, oh, fucking bottles. God damn it, bottles. Get out of there. We have to press to talk to him. Oh, what a dick. What a... I don't remember how to do. Is try the bumpers. I did. You did the bumpers and triggers. Maybe you have to learn. It? Maybe you have to learn it. I don't know. Oh well. Fuck it. Well, fuck that. Considering bottles is a big old dick. <laughs> God damn it, you're a dick. No wonder you die. I hope you die. Yeah, I don't like bottles. Oh, he's floating. Gotcha, bitch. I can, I can see it being like a lot of people don't like bottles. 
What is this hole? But yeah, I was the only one of my friends who liked this game growing up. And so I never admitted it again until college when one of my friends, Matt, was like, Dude, they made a remake of Banjo on Xbox. And I was like, you like the game? He's like, dude, it's one of my favorite games. I was like, me, me too. <laughs> yeah. It is okay to like this game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this game is amazing. Like, I never got a chance to finish it because I never had an Xbox. Or, I never had an N64. But, like, my friends all had, like, my friends had an N64. And I played it there. I just never got the chance to beat it, you know? Mm-hmm. Get back here. I guess just fucking climb the mountain, I guess. I don't know. Ah, uh, spiral mountain. I'm sure we're missing a few secrets, but you could get by without them. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. It's not too hard of a game. So, I'll admit, like, I was, I, I didn't understand the treachery that was nuts and bolts. Oh. I was so excited for that game, too. Yeah. I was kind of excited just because, like, I, I had never really played this game all the way through, but, like, I played it. It's a fun game. It's like Mario 64, you know? Mm -hmm. A little better, actually. And... My, uh... So, Nuts and Bolts was, like, announced, and you started seeing, like, all the screenshots of it and everything. And it was just, like... You, you, you kind of imagined it being, like, really freaking amazing. Yep. And then it wasn't. I... You know, I liked, you know, I like Need for Speed, where you customize your own cars. I like Banjo-Kazooie, so you would think I'd like them together, but it just did not work together. No. And it's just like, there's, why is there a, you know, like, why do you need to have that card element? This is Banjo-Kazooie. The overworld is dope. I kind of want to go back just to look at the overworld. It was, yeah. it looked good. Uh oh, shit. This, that's what I liked about this game, it's all about the adventure, just exploring. And... <laughs> I like how there's like a big old portrait. Yeah. Oh, she rhymes every time she fucking talks. Yeah. Kind of gets annoying. <laughs> that's like a. That's... Oh, so you want to collect these jigsaws? <laughs> Mr. Jiggy. He kind of looks like the corn. He kind of looks like the sweet corn in Kong. Oh, yeah. Bring me sweet corn! So you've played Spiral Mountain. And so you go up here and they enter the missing puzzle piece. Fuck yeah. Kind of interesting take. Yeah. <laughs> Like, the more games I play, the more I realize how much, like, that, you ever played Braid? Mm -mm. You know what that is? No. It's an indie game, and it's like, uh, it, it's, it's really good. It's about, uh, like, it's, uh, spoiler warning, I guess. You're playing, you're technically playing the game in reverse. Oh, really? Yeah, when you, uh, when you're playing the game, like, as you move through the level, as you move through the levels, like, it starts off, like, happy and like cheerful and it looks like you're like wait I just said spiral mountain what's that from that's from Digimon <laughs> so what, what am I what am I so doing so you gotta here? go and unlock the volcano mountain thing oh okay but we're gonna do that we'll start the next level on the next episode on the perfect next time episode. Mumbo's Mountain hey